Braga Fresh is a large, vertically integrated, primarily organic grower with operations in the Salinas Valley and Imperial Valley. Embracing biodiversity in the farm started 15 years ago or so with beneficial habitat plantings. It was a necessity. Hoverflies or surfered flies, I often call them hoverflies because it's a little bit easier word to say. They are true flies, uh, but they hover. So you often see them hovering around a flower. They'll be getting two things from the flowers, pollen for protein, and that's important for egg production by the females, and then nectar, which is kind of the, is the fuel source. Allows them to fly out into the field. Uh, they would be looking for uh, vegetables where there's aphids, and they can actually smell the odor of some part of the aphid. And so the female, she'll lay an egg there, and then those eggs will hatch into very small uh, larvae, and the larvae eat aphids live. One of the primary concerns we had in organic production was no ability to put our red lettuce aphid in check. And so we turned to our natural enemies as the primary means for uh, aphid predation and reducing those populations in our crops. We kind of refer to this whole system as conservation biological control. We're not, we're not bringing insects in from out, el elsewhere. We're using the hedgerow to conserve what occurs naturally here. We use the plants that we put in the field, the, the sweet alyssum, to pull hoverflies out of the hedgerow into the field where they can do their good thing. The larvae of the hoverfly, they can eat over 100 aphids in a day. We have permanent plantings adjacent to a lot of our, our farm fields. Usually we're only giving up a tenth of an acre uh, adjacent to a road and we'll leave those in for a year or two and then take them out when they get to be a little bit overgrown or too weedy and then replant them. In addition to that, if we have any soil on the farm that's not desirable, doesn't grow a good crop, we plant flowers there. Uh, in field, you'll commonly find dill and cilantro and alyssum. Uh, sweet alyssum is good because flowers are a certain morphology that the hoverflies can easily access the pollen and the nectar. What you want in an insect tree plant is something that will flower quickly and essentially uh, be ready to work right when you get it in the field. So one of the best ways that we find to do that is to use transplants because uh, we transplant our lettuce and we can transplant our sweet alyssum and the sweet alyssum already has flowers on it. So I kind of think of it as the restaurant's open. Salinas Valley growers commonly transplant a large amount of their crops and that process is automated, but the uh, automation process is not perfect. So occasionally there's going to be a skip, probably one to 5% of the time. And instead of our workers plugging in a broccoli or a cauliflower plant, we replace them with cilantro or dill or sweet alyssum. In the eight years that I grew lettuce in our long-term trial, I became quite aware early on that the alyssum was taking up space that I could have used for lettuce. So I was always trying to figure out, can I get away with a little bit less alyssum? Eventually I got to where I don't even give up any space for the alyssum. Just say a lettuce is here and here normally, I stick the alyssum right in between. And the alyssum will, will grow, it'll flower, and if it gets crowded a little bit by the lettuce, who cares? All we want from the alyssum is flowers. I love doing research because it's kind of like solving a puzzle, but then sharing it with other people so that it can help to improve their systems. Uh, I can't think of anything more exciting to do than that really. I've been able to answer a lot of questions that I've had for my entire career by looking and observing biological systems and drawing conclusions from that and then you know, trying to find some level of translation to our production. So my enjoyment is, is of discovery. I think discovery is what's making this entire process exciting and I think it's what's exciting our entire team.